are the glasses you left at the library when you were nine years old? I like to play hopscotch. And I caught all 150 Pokemon. Even Mew? Even Mew. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Today we have a special co-host replacing Ariana just for the day. Uh, your name is? My name is Jimmy. And I am Jimmy. Jimmy. He is Jimmy. <laughs> so what are we talking about today? I want to talk about Star Wars. It's a great idea. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. So, you guys hear about what's going on with Star Wars, right? Yeah. You got bought out, right? Yeah. yeah. Five billion dollars. Wow. It's a lot of shimoleons. <laughs> I think you could have got more. Oh, definitely. Probably. Yeah. Seven, seven billion dollars? Eight billion? Ten billion dollars? I'm thinking ten. <laughs> <laughs> so you all know, if you have not heard yet, Lucas Films bought, was bought out by Disney for five billion dollars. Does this make you sad? <laughs> a little bit. Just because of, you know, Lucas's, you know. It was his thing. Yeah, it was, it was, it was Lucas's thing. It was thing. George Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, George Lucas. Well, can't you, you can't beat George Lucas. Indiana Jones, Star Wars. <laughs> he became one of, like, the biggest, most popular directors. Like, sci-fi legend. And then he sells it to Disney. I mean, they're, they're cool and everything. They have a bunch of budget, and they can do pretty much anything. Like, they do a lot of really interesting movies, like the Pirates movies. And, uh, uh, right now, they're doing the Marvel movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to give them a really good uh, budget, or even better than what Lucas could do. Uh, it's still kind of sad, you know? I think he was just ready to move on. Yeah. Well, he has always said that um, you know, the, he thinks that the franchise and everything like that can move on past him when he's <coughs> yeah. done, you know? Yeah, I said that for a long time. Mm -hmm. And he was uh, ready. He was just finally ready. He was like, you know, I can let it go. Star Wars has grossed me like hundreds of billions of dollars over the past 40 some odd years. 40 some odd years or 50 some odd years? How long has Star Wars been going on? A lot of some odd years. <laughs> Since the 70s. <laughs> So, like, he's re he was ready to move on, but $5 billion, man, he could have got more, I thought. Um, let's talk a little bit about the first six films. Should we start with A New Hope? That was... Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Obi <laughs> no, no. What if he said no? Well, what, what if Obi-Wan was just like, no, fuck it, then we wouldn't have six Star Wars movies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars was created by that line. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. That's the best line from from every single one of the movies, I think. And how did Leia know Ben, and well, not Luke? <laughs> you gotta think like she was a a, a wealthy politician's daughter, right? Mm -hmm. So she probably yeah. had contact with all these people. She probably probably knew where Yoda was, you know? Well, yeah, probably, definitely. Or at least knew of Yoda, knew that he was still alive or something like that. I mean, because she was also a member of the Resistance, like, right off the bat. Knew she was birthed to a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> we got that. So, the first three films, A New Hope, uh, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Or is it Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back? I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> well, which one's your favorite? I actually liked Empire the best. Yeah? Yeah, I just liked Empire. There was a lot in that. I would have to say, I, I would have to say Empire. No, I'd have to say the sixth movie, because I like it when Darth Vader just lifts him up, chucks him over the... <laughs> down into this huge abyss. And Sidious is like... Really oh. practical for a spaceship throne room. Yeah. I know. So the litter my throne room with all these bottomless pits that go way down into like nuclear core reactors and stuff. Oh, definitely. Great idea. <laughs> and it also kind of brings it around because then it shows you that the prophecy that they originally spoke of was actually true. Yeah. Uh, Darth yeah. Vader was the one who was supposed to kill him. It just took a while. And that goes back to the original three movies. Well, Stanley, that goes back to the new three movies. Episodes one, Phantom Menace. Episode two, the Attack of the Clones. Episode three, 
The Revenge of the Sith. Right. All right. That goes to those three movies. Now, now, for all you people out there who says, well, Luke is the chosen one. Luke was not the chosen one. It was Anakin. He's the one who brought balance to the Force. I don't care what anybody says. Well, yeah. It's obvious. He picked up Sidious and tossed him in a hole. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now we go to the original, or the new three, so that goes episodes one, two, and three. What, what are you guys' favorites? Out of the six, the first three are my favorite, but only because I'm, I can't get over the newer graphics. Like, they outweigh even the older storyline. They stuff. do, and, and that's what, that's actually why he didn't do the first three right. first, yeah. is because he didn't have the, the ability to. He wanted so it to be training. Yeah. So, that makes sense. But I think out of... The first three. The first one would have to be my favorite. Phantom Menace. I watched that movie over and over and over again. <laughs> oh my god. Like, and everybody had the VHS tape of it. Like, one of the last VH tapes, uh, VHS tapes ever made. Oh yeah, definitely. So hung around. I had that, that PlayStation 1 video game. It was so terrible, but it was so much fun. I remember that game. Yeah. You remember the fighting game? Yeah. I, I uh, played that one, too. That was a good one. Um, well... My favorite would probably have to be Attack of the Clones. That's a good one. It, it, it showed so much. Yeah. So much storyline in that. It was just like, hey, hey, you remember what happens here, 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 here? Well, we're going to explain that right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Attack of the Clones was, uh, was my favorite. That's a good one. Alright, so now we've touched on what we wanted to, what, what we liked about the movies. What did you not like about Star Wars? Ever asked me that question? It's a really bad question because <laughs> I don't like any. I don't not like anything about it. That's what I say. That's what yeah, I can't think of anything. But let's see, Star Wars. What do I have not not like about it? I love Star Wars. Go see it. <laughs> I think the only thing I can really think of is not having anything to do with anything that's out there. I just was maybe they could go more into the background of the Jedi and how. You know, like in the in the mainstream media stuff, you know, show oh, the, yeah. show like a prequel to the prequels or whatever. Oh, that would be awesome! You know, yeah. like how, how like, the Jedi uh, got set up, or they were like, like Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, like stuff. Bef even before Knights of the Old Republic, you know, like the very the very like origins of the Jedi. Like what? How it actually became? Yeah. The Jedi. So then we can see where everything came. Well, from. you're thinking of thousands and thousands of years yeah. before. What yeah. The in. Sith, the Sith, and the Jedi have been around for eons and eons. Right. And they've yeah. been fighting for all that time. Yeah. Why? Well, where did they come from? I know we you know we know where their whole planets are. We know like all that other stuff. But like, what happened to start off the war between the Sith and the Jedi? That's why you go to Star Wars Wiki, Wikipedia, <laughs> <laughs> and find out. I think it would be cool if they illustrated it. I think so too. Yeah. They should do that. Yeah. Well, um, we're delving into the or like because the, they have a whole lore behind it. Oh well, yeah. He's got a whole galaxy, like, universe of things. Like Darth Bane taking down the Sith rule just so he can make the rule of two, and um, you know there's just all kinds of stuff. There's Revan. Plagueis was barely mentioned in the movies. Uh, Sidious killed Plagueis in his sleep. Well, that's a handy way to do it. Too. Who, who said it? Yeah, who said it? Who said it? Sidious said it. Because Sidious is a pansy. <laughs> Your favorite characters from Star Wars? Jar Jar Binks. I love yeah. Jar Jar. Really? <laughs> Jar Jar? Not my favorite, no, but definitely one of my favorites. Jar Jar Binks is so BA. He's I don't cool. care if people say he's annoying. Slap you in the face. My, mine is Darth Vader. Darth Vader is my favorite character. Whether it be Anakin or Vader. I gotta go with Obi-Wan. I really I really love that guy. Yeah, Obi-Wan. I do. I like Yoda. Yoda? Yoda's such a beast. Yoda's a beast, man. He is B.A. That's uh, the leader of the Jedi. Yeah. So, he's just way too fam. <laughs> Who trained Yoda? That's what I want to know. I know that. I actually read it up on Wiki Wikipedia. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it was this big floating... Um, like weird alien, like I don't know if he was floating, but he was a, uh, he was really tall, and he had like one of those really tall necks with the weird little small head, almost like um, oh that cloning planet, almost like them, but uh -huh. a little bigger. Oh, okay. And he like took him to like the Force planet where all the Force like converges and all that. It's this huge tornado thing. That's where he trained. It's crazy. That would mean Yoda's like the Yoda's strongest really Jedi. 
Yeah. And he's super, super old. Oh my God. What do you guys just thought? What do, what do you think about the new movies coming out? We want to know. Leave your comments. <laughs> and we wanted to talk a little bit about Jimmy over here. Is starting something awesome. What are you starting, Jimmy? Well, in January, I'm going to be releasing a YouTube channel with a production uh, company. And I'm going to have a three-part film project to release during it. And I'm also going to have a couple animated shows and a couple sketch comedy shows. Just a bunch of stuff. Trying to get my name out there. So you can like and subscribe to that when it comes out. And I'll be posting it all over Facebook and YouTube and all that. So. And we'll, we'll keep you up to date on when that comes out and Definitely. everything that's going on with it. So, is that it? I think that's about it. Sure. Alright, well, as always, this was a pair of your dirty socks. <laughs> and I like hopscotch. I still caught all 150 Pokemon. Even Mew. Mew 2 was so difficult. Oh my god. He killed my Blastoise. No I, way! I couldn't even get to a Pokemon Center in time. That's great. I miss you. Thank you. Sorry. So you all have a fantastic day. Stay nerdy. And we'll see you again. Bye-bye.